I'm just chilling back while they get the engines done. I don't want to get in the way. It makes me nervous putting these engines in and just hearing what they're talking about. Like, oh, we can make this work. We can't make this work. We might have to put a plate here. We might have to screw this here. The shaft is going to fit, but it makes me feel very good whenever they go, oh, this fits perfectly. This is exactly what we're looking for. So far, so good. So apparently they're going to have to pull the engine up, put a plate under it and put it back down on that plate and then it'll be fitting perfectly and we can get the next one in because once we know how to do this one the next one is going to be even easier so yeah i'll keep you guys updated <laughs> Imagine that, I have to ask, can I come into my own room? Look at this. These are my clothes. And these would be my clothes, but she's taking that one, and not only is she taking that one, she's taking this one too. <laughs> she's got so much stuff. Uh, I'm just giving her a hard time. I'm giving her a really hard time. Yes, you have this one, and this one, and this one too. <laughs> Happening. Get down, short stack. <laughs> short. Oh, it's like our height difference. Look at this height difference between her and I. And she's wearing shoes as well. You're sitting on the, the rug over yeah, here. The rug. Anyways, we're gonna go to a thrift store. What you looking at? Hey, not on camera. That's special. Oh. Okay, we're going to drive. I will catch you guys at the thrift store. The thrift store we went to was okay. The majority of what we did was looking around and me playing video games. But in the end, we found a couple of pieces of clothing we liked. I died in Pac-Man. And then it was back to the boat to tackle yet another project. Why, hello there. You are stuck. Here, come this way. I got it. The bilges of the boat, I'm sure you've heard of those before. They're in the center of the boat, and a boat is built like this. And it's curved to where all the water flows to the center of the boat, to where it gets into the bilge and gets sucked out via a pump. Our bilge keeps going off, so we're gonna figure out why it keeps going off, and we're gonna suck the water out of it too. Our bilge is right in the kitchen, because that's the center of our boat. This is the pump. I walked right past it. So what this means for us is that we're taking on water because the bilge keeps going off every now and again. I think it's just condensation from the ACs because they build up condensation and it runs uh, through the bulkheads down to this. Bulkheads are just big walls that the boat needs to have more- Structure. Yeah, structure. sound structure. Mm -hmm. And the bulkheads have a little hole in the bottom so the water can run through them. This right here is the float switch and it comes up whenever the water level rises. That right there, is the bilge itself. That's what sucks the water out. The pipes around, that's just various outlets that water comes from, you know, just around the boat, wherever. That's our food, the mac and cheese, the good stuff. And that is a useless deckhand that doesn't know what he's doing. No, I'm doing, I'm, I don't want to do the shopping. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Come back, I love you. How do we get food living on a sailboat? It's really simple, it's not that complicated. We gotta swim into shore every time to get it. I made a TikTok skit out of that, actually. No, that's not how we get food. We take a car, go into town, get groceries, and bring it back, except we get more groceries. As opposed to, say, you guys, or my friends, they get groceries that last them for about three to four days. We get groceries that last us for about two weeks. 
So we just get more. My mother does all the grocery getting. She plans it. She makes a list of what she wants. She gets it. She brings it back. She has meal ideas and I, I don't know how her brain works. She's like the mastermind of all that. That's how we do it at the marina. On Anchorage, we have to take our dinghy, dinghy into town, get the groceries, load them onto the dinghy, bring them back to the boat, unload it from the dinghy, and then put it away. It's a little more of a tedious task. Look at the other books. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bright. I'm gonna go on this side, maybe. Guess what? I gotta get sent up the mast to mount a camera. That's right, we have been installing cameras all over the boat since we've gotten here. And my job is to go up, drill holes, tap the holes, and put the camera on. Like I was saying, this is the bosun seat. This is what all the sailors use to go up the mast, unless you have a climbing harness, which feels significantly worse. It's good, it's good, all the connections look safe. Looks okay. Okay, now this is where it gets a little hairy. Cause I gotta go like, like that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. So this is the radar dome. The thing spins around in there. Looks at the clouds for us. It determines where the clouds are at and what's going on. Mm -hmm. Grab our little tool bag here. So before we go any further and I start drilling one and two and three and four, I'm gonna take the tap I'm gonna screw into it and see if it's good before we make any irreversible changes. Okay, so that worked. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other three holes and I will uh, update you guys in a moment. Whee! Where is this freaking hole? Is that it right there? It is. All right, there's the first two connection points. Now, since we got those, it should be a lot easier. Yep, it's on. Look at that. It's a little hot out here. Is it working? Yeah, it is working. All right, camera's on. It's hooked up. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit up here, make these cables look nice and neat, and that is a Job done right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if you need cameras on your boat, don't call me because I'm busy. Or maybe call me, I don't know. You don't have my number. When where the sun keeps shining. You know, I don't know exactly why I decided to shave today. I don't know, I just felt bored and it's something I wanted to do. I don't think it works. I mean, I like it, but it just doesn't feel like me, and I, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll rock the mustache for a little bit, but right now, nah, nah. Mm. Oh man, look at that. That feels, feels weird seeing myself without uh, facial hair, especially when I've had it on for so long. Mm. I got the sides too. What did I do bringing her to the boat? Oh my gosh. I am, I, I'm just doing my video thing. And I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. We have a great relationship. Kidding, we do. I like her being here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching till the end of the video. Sorry if my voice sounds a little whack. I just got my wisdom teeth pulled out, you'll see in the next video. This one was a struggle to put together because being at this marina, it really sucks the life out of you. We've been here for a long time and we're all ready to leave. Far beyond the point of being ready to leave. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.